All right, so we just got the phone call from the post office right after I got them going to the greenhouse, and um, our chicks came in. So we're heading to the post office right next to the house to go grab our chicks, and they were peeping in the background. Super awesome. So these guys are really, really loud and very lively, which is amazing. Um, as you see, I'm dipping their beaks into the water so they know where the water is and where they can drink. And um, it has apple cider vinegar in it and some molasses or brown sugar if you got brown sugar. And it just gives them a boost, gives them electrolytes and all sorts of stuff so they have a better start. So what's really nice about gardening on your homestead, I'm walking to the chicken coop. I'm planting tomatoes. So I hope you all know where this is going. I need to grab some necessities. Now, yeah, we only have a few egg layers, but I got about two or three dozen in the house of eggs at the moment. Oh, Ooh, thick spider webs. Okay, awesome. So, we got a whole bunch of eggs. That is a silky Easter egg or egg. I'll leave those ones. I don't need. And that's another silky Easter egg or egg. So, do do do. I need two. I need one. One. Oh. Hello, my chickies. Hi, beautifuls. So, you put an egg under your tomato plant. Alaska, we have a short growing season and then it's mostly frozen. I don't want a rotten egg under there because they take forever to break down. And to give my tomato plants the best start, I'm gonna stick this in there and then I'm gonna step on it. Cause I tried throwing it in there earlier and the egg bounced back and hit me. So here I am planting my Amish paste tomatoes. I'm taking off the extra leaves and leaving the top um, just so I can get a better root system going. I am putting a few plants in this pot. It's a big pot and I don't have the extra pots to um, have each one have their own at the moment. So. I'm just packing them in with that egg at the bottom that's smushed, putting down my organic potting soil that I got, and getting ready to put more soil in. Um, <laughs> then I believe after this I am going to put some other plants that grow well and that prevent pest problems in there. Oh, yep, there's the pepper plant. Okay, so I'm putting the pepper plant in there. And um, I am putting some 
of my marigolds I bought bought those in a flat and that was like the best way to go now marigolds prevent well deter aphids and stuff like that so I'm putting that with my uh, peppers just to keep them safe from all the aphids trying to eat them and then pretty much I am done potting this <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh, I see you, baby. Oh, I know you're already running. Oh, well, he was coming out as soon as I sat down to go to the kitchen. She was popping out. Yeah. Hold still. So this is Palmer, our little bathroom. Um, today, May 19th, he's already three weeks old. This was back when he was a week old. And the struggle is real trying to feed. No, he wasn't even a week old, he was a few days. And the struggle is real trying to teach a bottle baby how to use What's a that? bottle. Um... But now he's a champ, and no one, he's been doing move. amazing, running all over, as you saw in the first little clip. And he is our breeding buck for our future milk program for our homestead, which is um, Nigerian dwarfs. So... He's just so stinking cute. I love him to death. You still got a little bit left. You don't want it? No? Yes? Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay. All done. Where are you gonna go? Uh, Please stop. The dog. Where you go? We don't. Me shorty. Ah, shorty. Shorty. All right, Palmer. What are you doing? You're rubbing milk all over me. Hello. So on top of getting Palmer, we have our milking does, Ginger and Dottie. Aren't they so pretty? And then we have a farm full of babies. Here are the bunnies, the silver foxes, and the kitten I saved from a car tire. It was inside the tire, and I pulled it out of it this morning. And here is the bunnies and overload of cuteness. Done.